Thousands of people are expected to celebrate Juneteenth on Friday at a rally in Judkins Park. Organizers say it is time now to do more than march and protest. It is time, they say, to change policy. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy is live with what they're asking for. And Allison, they have proven they can change policy. Steve, this rally is being held by the group Not This Time, and it was created by the brother and sister of a man who was killed by Seattle police. They say working with the community and lawmakers, they have already changed the way police shootings are investigated. Now they have a new demand. Tens of thousands of people filled Seattle streets last Friday for a silent march. This Friday, on Juneteenth, a holiday that celebrates the end of slavery, a huge rally is planned at Judkins Park. It's to recognize the dignity of our people, the proudness of our people, the genius of who we are, the resilience of who we are, and how we have made it through so much hardship and adversity, and that we're still pushing forward. We have a responsibility to take it further than just protesting, to take the issues further than just marching. The rest of the world is looking at Washington State. What what does Washington do next? Andre Taylor is the founder of Not This Time. His brother, Che Taylor, was shot and killed during a confrontation with Seattle police in 2016. He spent the last four years fighting for police accountability when it comes to the use of deadly force. Taylor helped pass Initiative 940, which removed the need to prove law enforcement acted with evil intent or malice. It also requires an independent investigation. Now, Taylor wants to take it one step farther. The only way that we'll really have some significant police accountability if it's out of all law enforcement and done through the Attorney General's office, but that's a process. But I think we can get there, especially now uh, that the country is urging for something different. Taylor was asked about the Capitol Hill organized protest or occupation protest and if it's helping make change. I don't want to be distracted by the glitter. Even though if people feel that as their ends to an objective to get things changed, I'm not throwing shade on that. It's just that I have to lead, right? And my leadership requires everybody coming together. Taylor says that he knows having the Attorney General's office investigate all police deadly shootings will take time because they need to increase the number of people working in that office. But he said it is the necessary next step. That rally starts at 1 o'clock on Friday at Judkins Park. Reporting live, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.